people, right? But I don't know if many of you thought that way, but that's, that's okay, thank you for shaking your head. I totally felt that way. So that's the reason why I chose it, because I have fallen in love with it and totally changed my mind about it. So um, I made um, a quick little um, information sheet for you guys if you want to pass one of those around with just some variety of things you can do with Kim Face. So the first thing I wanted to share before I do some little demos is for you guys to be reminded about um, how most of us feel. This is a small jar, and $30 to a lot of people is a lot of money for one cleaning product. So I think it's important that we remind people, number one, um, how valuable it is, what all you can do with it. Number two, how long it will last. And number three, all the different uses it has. So let me know. Raise your hand if you or a customer you sold to, anybody you know, has had their cleaning place, um, just one jar for a year. Two years? Three years. Okay, so we're thinking at least two years would be probably an average time. So for those of you guys that haven't been in the business two years, now you can share that. I think it's so important we can use each other and help each other with things. So I would say, yeah, I've had mine for um, seven months, and it's less than a quarter of the way gone. So I think two years would definitely be a good, um, a good um, guess on that. So one thing that I've heard Casey say and many others that I really love is um, helping people understand all the different ways they can use clean paste. So I like to kind of take a little mini tour through my house as I'm explaining and demoing this product. So talk about how you can use it in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in your bedroom, in the garage, and kind of get people's minds going because once you understand all the different things this product can do, $30 suddenly seems like a great value. So let me kind of walk you through and do a couple different demonstrations. Many of these I'm sure you've already seen and done. Um, the first one is, is the kitchen. Obviously the kitchen is where we want uh, the room we want to be the cleanest, the most cleanly for serving food. So I just cleaned um, maybe a third of this little pan, and I did use um, the spear net because I wanted to have a little more, I knew this wasn't going to get scratched, this is out of my toaster oven, so I don't really care if it got scratched anyways, but it came out quite nice. Um, another um, great use for the clean paste in the bathroom is to get the soap scum off of your bathtub, to get rust off of your toilet or any of your sink, uh, sink fixtures, to get hard water, excellent for hard water stains. Um, a lot of us have tile in our bathroom and in our kitchen, so um, I like to do um, marker as well as fingernail polish on a piece of tile. I picked this up for less than a dollar. I'm sure many of you have done that, but if you haven't, this is a great little thing to do, and it just travels light and nice in my little um, bag. So you can show both with, um, I like to just kind of demo with all three of these, my EnviroCloth, my, my Spiri Sponge, and my Spirinet. And one of the reasons why I do that is because I had a friend who um, loves Norwich. She's one of my very first um, customers, or hostesses, both, I guess that's friend hostess rather. And she um, told me, the oops came right off. She told me that she tried the cleaning paste with the EnviroCloth and she was like, eh, yeah, I like it. But then when she had the spear net, or the spear sponge, she was like, yes, I would need to buy it right now. So that made the difference for her. So think about that because that can make a difference for people. Um, Another great use for the, um, did I put my finger on the too thick? You use finger on the No, I'm not. I do it every morning. Okay, I knew you did. Okay, um, it's funny. I just put it on like super thick, and this is like Clinique, so it's pretty <laughs> heavy duty. I never knew what to do. It's coming out. I'm not it, but I mean, it is elbow grease, but that's a lacquer based paint, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you do have to scrub more. That, that, that was the little that's... eye. So yeah, it's coming. It's coming out, but it did take a second longer. Thank you. Um, another uh, use that people talk about, and I had never tried until today, and I've been really, really um, excited about the way it turned out, was on the bottom of a tennis shoe. This is taking a little bit of elbow grease, but it is coming off. So I took the dirtiest shoes we had in our house, which is my husband's outdoor, um, ugh, gross shoes. <laughs> yeah, he's like, don't come on the table with this plate. So gross. So, um... I cleaned this section right here and it came right off easy peasy. So um, whenever you think about you know, how you can be restoring and taking care of so many items around your house, all of a sudden $30 seems like, yeah, get, sign me up for two of them. So just to see the difference between this and this. So there's lots of different ways you can use this. I know um, Casey's even shared that she had a friend who had tar stuck on her vehicle that she removed. So um, I just wanted to, you guys I'm sure do a lot of these demonstrations already in your parties, but I wanted to kind of hopefully help you expand um, your mind of how you talk about this product because it can be used in so many different ways and I hope that little sheet helps you a little bit to think of the different ways you can use it because um, once you start using it in your home, you'll just find there's so many uses and it can be very valuable. And this is all something that you can um, give out samples of. It's, it looks kind of weird in a sample because there's like a little bit of, you know, chalkiness, but if you 
I've seen people that buy those really cute little, almost like if you go to a makeup counter and you get a little makeup sample, you can buy those on Amazon or just in a little baggie, you know, to give people samples um, can be a great idea also. And for people, like I've heard a couple of customers say, why do why don't they make it like half the size and only charge $15? But we are a mission-based company, and um, although we would hope that you would put it in the recycle bin after, the truth is that 90% of all plastic actually does not get in the recycle bin. So um, that would go against kind of our mission. We want to reduce waste, and um, so that if you have one bottle that lasts you two years, rather than replacing, replacing, replacing. I mean, we probably all recycle, but not everybody that loves Norwex is a tree hugger because a lot of them just love how fast and easy it works, you know. Uh, do, you, do you mind if I add my um, marriage, my marriage savior story? Please, 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 please do. So, um, my husband, when we moved to the house in California, we were moving from a house out here in Queen Creek, which is like 2,300 square feet, into a 900 square foot shoebox. And so we had like all this big furniture from our big house and trying to like squeeze it into this little shoebox that we were living in. So we had packed up that house, drove seven hours with our 10 month old, and then um, unpacked the new house. And he is not the most patient person. I love him. And he has a lot of qualities that are fantastic, but patience is not. Um, one of his strengths, and so he and his brother just decided to shove the dresser through the door jam rather than taking the door off, you know, to give it an extra inch. And so the dresser was a year old, and it had white paint all across the front and white paint all across the bottom, where like it was like the molding of the dresser. So I tried everything, scraped it with everything, trying to get the white off but not ruin the stain itself any worse. I mean, it's already ruined, so at that point, you know, like don't really care. And um, in the house that we lived in the last couple of years, it was off to the side. And so every time I would see it, not often, but I would just forgive him over and over. Lots <laughs> of forgiveness. And um, this house, it's like right when you walk in the door, right in front of the bed. And I was like, oh, and, you know, because it makes me mad again because now it's not out of the way. And then I was like, cleaning paste. I bet cleaning paste would do it. If it took paint off of my car, it's got to take paint off of the wood, Right. Took it right off. I wow. cleaned the whole thing with Enviro and coconut oil and then got the stain pin because he did nick into the stain and like the dresser looks like it did eight years ago. And that thing has been there for eight years. So I mean, 30 bucks to save your marriage is like <laughs> cheap. <laughs> cheap. And I just wanted to add really quick if you don't have any of your own personal stories, a lot of us don't when we're starting out. Um, use what we've got. The catalog has so many great things as well as our little product sheets. So I love this little story in here. She talks about, you know, I'm truly amazed. It removes coffee and tea stains from cups, rust from my husband's truck, ink from dress pants, marker from the wall, and bike tires from the SUV. So again, she's walking into the house. So if you don't have your own stories to share, use other people's or use what you've got. There's a lot of great stuff in the catalog and their product sheets. Yeah, and then just wreck your car. Or just wreck your car. Yeah, there you go. Baby. See if it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> she was walking around. She